I've got a question. Um, I'm using a, a injection for, like, you know, the one that stops having baby. Yeah. So I then uh, now I I clean myself. I went to doctor. I described some medi uh, medications to clean myself. So the problem is my cycle is upside down. Like before, for the past 25, it was uh, seven days. After that, I used to get clean. Mohammed, shish. Now the problem is it's more than that. Sometimes, like after the six days, I get clean, and then the seven days it comes back, and then I get clean, and then the eight days comes yes, back. It's upside down. Yes, I don't mean. know. If yes, mean. Can you hear me? Yes. Are you watching this program on the screen or on uh, YouTube or social media? No, I'm on WhatsApp. Okay. So now, my question to you is, why did you actually decide to go for the contraceptive injections? To delay the period or to stop it? What was the main objective? Uh I had an operation for having kids. Okay, so you're taking you're taking the the, the the injection to stop the uh, per the, the the pregnancy. Am I correct? To have kids, to, to, not to have kids. No. I was using for that. Yeah. Okay. And uh, this is prescribed by doctor, right? Okay. Yes. Now listen no. to this: uh, a woman whose monthly period or menses is normally five days. Then because of the medication that she is on, the period is messed up, we need to look into the following fact. If the period is five days, then the bleeding stops. Then you're clean, you perform your ghost and resume your worship. Seventh day, the bleeding resumes, no problem. That's called irregular bleeding. Because there was an interruption, you experience cleanness, then there was another bleeding. That's called istihada or irregular bleeding. But when the bleeding is continuous, five days, six days, seven days, the same flow, you should perceive it as a regular period, even if it goes longer than uh, usual time that you experience. Okay? If the bleeding is even happening excessively, but new, not during the regular period time, ignore it. And it is also perceived as istihada or irregular bleeding. What should a woman do with an irregular bleeding or istihada as in fiqh? You will wash yourself and make wudu for each prayer, for each fard prayer, once the time has entered. And with this ablution, you can pray the fard and the relating nawafil before or after. So I'm going to pray Isha and Tarawih in the masjid. And the sister is having this irregular bleeding, not the period. You made wudu after the adhan. You went to the masjid, you pray Isha, sunnah before, sunnah after, the entire Tarawih. And then, if you want to pray Tahajjud as well, and the wit with the same wudu, no problem. You want to pray another fard prayer, which is Fajr, you have to make a new wudu. But when the time has entered as well. Thank you, respected sister.